Hello everyone, we now start the Nano 7 UV printer installation process. After receiving the goods, the machine will be in a crate. We need to open the crate and put the machine on a flat and solid table. After that, we first need to check the machine around to see if there is any damage, for example, to the beam, the carriage, or the ink bottles. If there is, please take photos and send them to us. First, get the accessories box. Find a data cable and a power cable inside. Connect the power cable and the data cable to the machine. There is also a suction platform power cable, screw it on and fix it. Then turn on the machine switch. Open the power switch on the front panel. When it shows welcome to use, it means that the initialization of the machine has been completed. Then connect the data cable to the computer. We now start to install the software. Before installing the software, we close all the firewall and antivirus software on the system to avoid the software support files being deleted. Then insert the flash drive into the computer and open it. There are Ultra Print and Better Printer inside. Copy the two zip packages and paste them into the C drive. Extract the zip package to the current folder. After that, open the Better Printer software. Find the USB driver and install it. Once the driver is installed, open this folder. Install these two programs as well. After installing them all, find the Better Printer software and run it as administrator.
The control software is now installed. Send a shortcut to the desktop. Find the icon for the UltraPrint application and make the same move. Now the software is installed. Click UltraPrint. and change the settings as such. Keep this setting and click Apply. Load a test image. And uncheck this box. We can see the color, resolution, and number of passes that correspond to the profile. Then we click print. Then open the better printer software. Find the image you just processed and open it. The installation of the software is now complete here. After we plug in the USB cable, the row of control buttons should light up. The lower left corner shows USB 2.0, which means that the software is loaded properly. Note, the flash spray function needs to be always on. Then we let the machine do some basic actions. Click left, right, forward, backward, up and down in turn. Click X reset. Wait for the carriage to return to the original point. And we start adding ink. Get the ink ready. Confirm the ink information. Now the machine's ink shortage indicators are all on, which means there is no ink. Find the ink bottle according to the label and shake it before adding. Add the ink to 80% of the ink bottle, and screw on the bottle caps. Then we start to load the ink into the system. First, open the software.
find this option. Click Start. Make sure that the print head and the caps fit well. Check if there is ink flowing into the waste ink bottle. Now there is ink coming out of all three tubes. We put it back. Then we click stop in the software. And click clean. Choose all print heads. Check if the print heads are working. Then we move the print head to the middle of the platform. Use the operation panel to move the machine platform up and down. The distance between the platform and the print head is about 2 to 3 millimeters. Each time before printing we have to adjust it to the right distance. Do not let the media hit the nozzle. Then we click X reset. Find a piece of paper and a piece of transparent paper. If you don't have the transparent one, you can replace it with a piece of dark colored paper. Then we open the suction platform. Lay the paper flat. Click test. A good test result looks like this. You can see three rows of test lines, six parts in each row, and the lines in each row are complete and consistent. You can observe the varnishing test against the light. After the test line is complete, we print the test image. After printing, we measure whether the actual size of the image and the size shown on the software are the same. Now that they are the same, the machine can operate normally, and the installation process for Nano 7 UV printer is now complete. If you have any questions, please contact our support team and we will help you as soon as we can.